if Israel were to get a deal that they will inherit the entire region as theirs, except for the city of Jerusalem, will they take it? No. I completely agree with you. I mean, in terms of the, you know, Israel's rights, right to exist. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no argument yeah. there, of course. My biggest problem with Israel at this point in time is the fact that, you know, since the late 60s, you know, Israel has been expanding. It has used very questionable methods to expand. So my problem of a lot of people saying that there's been displacements of people is we only talk about the displacements out of context. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah. So, so the question then becomes, um, Okay, so we've gotten into the late 60s, what, 1968, I think, if I remember correctly? 67 is 67 the 67 were, yeah. borders, right? Yes. Of what is the reason for the, ex the, for the current expansion, ongoing expansion, okay. so, past these borders? Right. So the reason why the Jews are in the land of Israel mm -hmm. is not only because they wanted to create a state because they were being persecuted, but because this is a 2,000-year-old promise and will to one day return back to our homeland. Meaning the Jews had options of creating states in Uganda and Bilobijan and Madagascar oh, sure, and Angola sure. and other places, but we only wanted to go there because that is sure. where our homeland is. Okay. And the cradle of our civilization is Judea and Samaria. Before 67, Jordan controlled the West Bank, Judea and Samaria. No one was asking for creation of a state. The PLO was created in 1964, and they were not talking about the liberation or the justice of the Arabs living there. They were talking about the destruction of Israel. The leadership, which I see it as an unjust leadership, right? They're on their 11th year, their four-year term, had stated that we will not negotiate negotiate, we will not discuss, we will not have peace, we do not want, of course they're going through injustices, of course they, they, they experience day to day what you call an occupation, those are real injustices that have to be dealt with, and I'm telling you this as a very proud Israeli and a very proud Zionist. Now, what happened after that was the Oslo Accords. The Palestinian Authority and the Israeli government joined together and decided we are going to split this region, we're going to create area A, B and C, and I'm sure you know, area B both governed and controlled by militarily by the Palestinians, area B mutual control, area C controlled solely by Israel. Now that's what you have today that has been created. I don't agree personally that there should be a wall separating our people. Mm -hmm. I don't agree that this should be a system that is going on. I fully acknowledge and want to end and fight for the end of those injustices. But what I don't like to see is when those injustices are used as kind of saying that Jews don't have a right to live there. Right? You use the term settlement. Oh no, no, no one is... Right, but when we speak about settlements, it's almost as if saying that a Jewish community build, being built in Judea and Samaria, where you dig under okay. the ground and you find Jewish artifacts, is a settlement in terms of kind of like colonialism taking away someone else's land. Well, but I mean the question is, are there people living being, that, be, that are being displaced there? The settlements are not, oh, let's displace this Palestinian village and let's build uh, an Israeli village. The majority of the settlements are places in area C mainly, where there's no one living there, and they build a new community actually on where there used to be a Jewish community 2,000 years ago. Let's hypothetically speaking, right? If Israel were to get a deal that they will inherit the entire region as theirs, except for the city of Jerusalem, Will they take it? No. Okay. And to me, that illustrates the deep, deep, deep religious nature. It's the deep, of deep, the deep native on, nature. On all sides. You would take an, on all sides. Well, you would take you would take, you would take a Native American and say, would you be willing to let go of Standing Rock in that river? And they will tell you no, and you would not say that's based on religion. So you cannot say that the connection to Jerusalem is based on a religion. There are religious aspects as to our culture, but the, our connection to that land is not based on religion. This conversation has given me a lot more hope, I will tell you that. <laughs>